Hi guys, welcome to Get Curried. This is the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and it's a promise to get world cuisine into your kitchen. Well, today I'm doing one of my most favorite kebabs. It's a galotti kebab. Smooth, silken and absolutely beautiful. Here we go. Well, galotti kebab for the uninitiated is a very 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 silken smooth kebab which is very flavorful. Now for that I have this whole storyboard of spices here. I have some bay leaf which I'm going to crush into a very fine powder. I have some cinnamon. So I'm going to break this cinnamon and put it here. I have these beautiful black cardamoms. I'm just taking the seeds, I'm not taking the skin. I'm putting in these dried green chilies. I'm putting in a little bit of nutmeg. In goes some mace, peppercorns, some poppy seeds. cloves green cardamom dried onions some garlic ginger well i'm just roughly chopping the ginger so that it runs into a nice smooth paste this goes in the grinder I'm adding in some chili powder and here if you see there's this beautiful raw papaya very cute looking but this is actually a tenderizer it's a meat tenderizer so i'm taking like a little bit of this i'm using it with the skin because in the skin lies an enzyme called papain and that is actually a tenderizer so i'm just cutting this roughly so here this goes so i have this papaya which now goes into the grinder along with all the spices here we go I'm running this into a very smooth and fine paste. So here we go. Well now if you see this mixture actually requires some water, but we are not going to add the water. What I'm going to do instead is add in a little bit of coriander. So that is actually going to work as the moisture. Now after the coriander, I'm just breaking in an egg. Well this is the real trick of the recipe because this is going to actually make the paste nice, fine and smooth. So now let's begin. So let's check the spice. So here we have this smooth paste that we've actually created for galotti. So now here that you see is this spice mix which is ready, nice and smooth. Now let's start prepping the meat. So I have this minced meat here which is actually very coarse. Now there's a trick to this. Now you can either get it finely ground from the guy who supplied this to you or the second option is to use a mixer jar and actually grind this in your own kitchen. So I'll show you that trick here. So here I have this jar which goes right here and I'm going to add in a little at a time to make sure I run this into a smooth and fine paste. So here goes in a little So now that this mince is almost done what i'm doing is taking some salt and massaging a little into the mince meat so here goes in some salt so that it releases whatever water is still retained in the meat so i'm going to add in this masala now is the time to start massaging this into the meat you have to make sure this masala is evenly mixed into the meat otherwise you'll have pockets of this masala and you'll have some meat which is really bland and you don't want to upset people like that so it's very important you may take in some more time to do this but it's very important to massage it evenly so here we go now to make sure that the residual water is also absorbed in these kebabs what i'm going to add in is a spoonful of some roasted gram flour and mix it evenly well So now this has taken me somewhere around 8 to 10 minutes to massage this meat completely with the masalas. Now is the time to start frying. But before that, allow me a moment to just wash my hands. I'm taking like scoopfuls of this mixture, like so, so that they nicely form a patty-like shape. And here, I'm just placing it on the plate. Similarly, I'm going to make a few more. So with this quantity of the mixture you can actually make 15 kebabs of this size. For now we need refrigeration for 10 minutes so let me do that and then we do the frying. 
So now that these kebabs have been refrigerated, let's start pan frying them. So I'm taking some oil and heating this on medium flame. So now like a minute on each side and you see these kebabs are almost done. So I'm just moving them onto this platter. So now that these kebabs are ready, it's time to serve. For serving I have this beautiful lemon here and here goes the lemon juice on this. Very little, you can keep the remaining on the platter itself. Next I'm putting in some onion rings, right here and finally a bunch of some fresh mint. So I'm just making sure I cut the stems off and here goes in this beautiful bunch of mint. Well, did I mention the galotti kebabs were originally made for an aging toothless nawab? Well, you don't have to lose your teeth for this. Try it at home, share the love with everyone in and around. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and keep watching for what Bombay Chef gets next into your kitchen.